internet computer, ICP. Is it really a scam? After all, just one look at the charts and it's obvious it's a scam. It released at a very high market valuation and then just dumped. The problem with that line of thinking is the reason that it released at such a high market valuation and then dumped was because of market manipulation using ICP perp, which was available exclusively on the FTX exchange, founded by San Bankman Freed, which we all now know is a criminal who is currently serving a 25 year sentence in prison for things that they did with FTX. At Network Genesis and for a few hours afterwards, the price of ICP stayed above $450 per token, giving the network a fully diluted valuation of $230 billion, which was indisputably high. Then the price began to fall. Eventually, this led to a range of attacks on the internet computer ecosystem, which made the price falls self-reinforcing, pushing the ICP price well below its natural levels and causing great harm to ICP holders, those purchasing ICP, and the community building on the network. Four days before Internet Computer Genesis, the FTX exchange launched ICP Perp, a synthetic financial version of ICP made from a perpetual future instrument, essentially a contract for difference. Initially, the price of ICP Perp, through which traders could bet on what the price of real ICP would be after Genesis, was only $114.40. The price grew slowly and naturally until the day of Genesis. On the 10th of May, at 10 a.m. Pacific, eight hours before Internet Computer Genesis, its price had risen to $176. Arguably, to that point, everything still looked normal. Then at 11 a.m., ICP perp trading volumes suddenly exploded, increasing 30 to 40 times compared with the preceding days. During the seven hours from 7 a.m. to Genesis at 6 p.m., when the real ICP tokens got listed on other exchanges, the total volume of ICP ICP perp traded reached an incredible 241 million. On average, ICP perp worth more than 34 million was bought and sold on FTX every hour. Over those seven hours before Genesis, the price of ICP perp reached $275, then 344, 329, 388, 466, 432, etc. This is one of at least four articles articles over at Crypto Leaks. I will put links below in the video description. I am not going to go through the entirety of this article or the other articles that I'm going to briefly show. The second Crypto Leaks article is how the New York Times promoted a corrupt attack on ICP by Arkham Intelligence. Ava Labs, Avalanche, they also attacked ICP as well as Solana and some other cryptos. This is the third article at Crypto Leaks related Related to the ICP conspiracy perpetrated by Sam Bateman Freed of FTX. And yet another article at Crypto Leaks talking about why Sam SPF routinely manipulated token prices using FTX and Alameda, which does include manipulation of internet computer. And just to be clear, ICP Perp is a synthetic version of internet computer that is traded or was traded exclusively on FTX. ICP is used utility token that is native to the internet computer network, which is a blockchain network that aims to improve the efficiency, speed, decentralization of computation and data storage. Binance even has some articles on the subject. Here's an exclusive interview with Definity. ICP is a victim of SPF capital operations. And I'm not going to go through this article either, but links will be available in the video description below for anybody that wants to spend the time reading through all of these articles. Another article at Binance talking about whether or not the ICP price was manipulated by FTX and is the Solana white paper a fake? And a third article at Binance talking about the mystery of the ICP market manipulation. Who precisely killed the booming Definity? Definity is the foundation responsible for the existence of internet computer. And I think that this section of the article more or less sums up the sentiment here. SPF's FTX exchange launched a perpetual futures instrument called ICP Perp four days before the spot listing and manipulated the initial spot price of ICP by increasing the price 
5x through huge trading volume. SPF's manipulation of ICP prices began on FTX four hours before spot listing. The initial price of ICP matched the price of ICP perp. Only major hedge funds and market makers like Alameda Research, which is active on FTX, could pull off this kind of massive price manipulation. SPF also owns and controls Alameda Research. And here's yet another article talking about was the market manipulation an inside job? You know, what, what happened? So it, it's not as though there's one voice in the world saying that the ICP price was artificially manipulated in an attempt to torpedo the project. And although unfortunately, I don't believe SPF was charged with manipulating ICP, I wish he had been because it would be better for ICP holders to get the word out to people that no, really, this is what happened. However, Sam Bankman Freed is serving a 25 year sentence for things that he was found guilty of with FTX and Alameda Research. In my opinion, despite the fact that an internet computer is not perfect, I'm not 100% happy with everything that Definity says and does, it's at least a real project. You know, a lot of these other cryptos, and I always say a lot or most or the majority, just to give the benefit of the doubt, I'm one person. I can't possibly know enough about every crypto out there on the market to say definitively that nothing else is worth a damn. However, out of the things that I am familiar with, they're they're fake they're fraudulent they'll tell you things like web 3 decentralized this is the way to the future you know buy our nfts and then you dig into it to find out that they don't even host the N NFTs on chain or there's a gaming project. But guess what? The game's not on chain. You know, in many cases, the only thing that's on chain is the ledger and the token. And then everything else is off chain. In fact, most blockchains aren't even capable of doing anything besides dealing with the token and the ledger because most of these projects are nothing more than a money grab. And while it is 100% true that if you buy low and sell high, you will make money, no question about it. But a lot of people, they don't they don't know what a good sell price is. And it's hard to figure out what a good sell price is. And on top of that, you know, you got a lot of these projects that do hard forks and they change from token A and they go to token B. And if you're not, if you don't know that you have to swap out your tokens, you just lost everything, just everything. Whether you have $100, $1,000, $100,000 invested into a project, it doesn't matter. It's all gone. You were sleeping. You didn't know you had to change out your tokens. Sucks to be you, sorry. At least with internet computer, it's a real project that's actually capable of doing things on chain. The other thing that's pretty nice about ICP because of the price manipulation, it's still an undervalued asset which means that I was able to accumulate so far 2,530 ICP. I wish that I had gotten more familiar with it a year ago so that I could have accumulated two or three times that much at a lower price, but such is life. At least this time, I am accumulating, unlike when Bitcoin came around and when Ethereum came around. Let me ask you guys, what are you aware of and actually familiar enough with to genuinely say is a true competitor for internet computer in the short term and in the long term? Let us know in the comments below.